Hey everyone, the horror nerd Todd Starooch here again at the New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival in Island, New Jersey. And I am sitting here with Kate Hodge of Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Kate, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you doing? I am fantastic. I am having the time of my life getting to sit down with everybody today and talk about the convention and the movies that they're in. Great, great. Shoot. Uh, so we're at the second day of the convention. We had a little bit of weather yesterday, but it looks like we have a packed house today. How's the convention been for you? Oh my gosh, it's been so much fun. I've got to say there are some of the most outrageous costumes I've ever seen. Very well put together. Lots of very friendly faces. And now that the sleet and snow has stopped, got a great turnout. Winter in the Northeast. You got to love it. Love a Nor'easter all the time. So, um, you're part of a pretty much a legendary horror franchise. Yeah. Does it ever uh, surprise you how much passion there still is for these films after all this time? It kind of does, although we were at a, on a panel last night and Jeff Burr brought up all this stuff because it's almost 28 years ago now about how the trailer came out before the movie and there was like all this hubbub about what it was going to be. And how there was, my character Michelle was so not going to die <laughs> and ended up like killing like some of the bad guys. And how it was uh, unusual for a, a female in a horror movie to fight back as hard. And so I kind of understand why there's so much uh, long lasting fans because it was sort of unique in its time. Very cool. Were you always into horror movies uh, uh, yourself, you know, as a fan? I remember The Shining, and I remember Alien, and I loved being scared to death. And uh, then after this, I did The She-Wolf of London, where I transformed into a werewolf. So I kind of like, well, I kind of got a, kind of got a knack for this. So I, I, I do, I love it. I think secretly everybody likes to be scared and get that adrenaline rush. I know I do. I think you're right. It's nothing like that. Ah! <laughs> yeah. yeah, and at least you know it's only a movie, you know. If suddenly a dude with a chainsaw was in your backyard at 2 in the morning, maybe not so much. Not so much, no. 911. Time to call 911. <laughs> So um, I, I see a lot of fans here today. Um, in your convention appearances, has there any ever been a fan that has said something to you where you were like, "Did did you really just say that?" Mm, nothing comes to mind. I think the most interesting one was in Kentucky. I had a fan, and I wish I could remember his name off the top of my head, but he had a Leatherface lunchbox. He had a chainsaw. He had some of the most unusual props from the movie. And I just remember being like, now this is a fan. <laughs> so. You should see the heads he has in the freezer back at his house. <laughs> I'm sure. I didn't think of that. <laughs> no real heads, no real limbs have ever showed up, so that's good. Fantastic. What are you uh, up to these days? Any current acting or other projects you're working on? I am just really still auditioning. I'm still on the market for movies and uh, TV and commercials, so I'm just keep on keeping on, keep on the good search for work. Excellent. How can people follow your career and follow you on the interwebs? The interwebs. I have a Kate Hodge Facebook page with a, where's the picture? This one. I think it's somewhat like this. This is my Facebook page picture, and uh, I just started it recently, and i um, it's great. People can log on to Kate Hodge Actor. I think it's under, and uh, I can I talk to everybody almost every day. That's cool. So you manage your own page? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. That's great when when people are fan friendly and interact. I, I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. It's fun to talk about and reminisce about random random jobs and roles I did and have questions asked and and just keep in touch with everybody like that. Very cool. Well, Kate, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. Absolutely. I wish you nothing but success in your future projects and have a great rest of the weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Kate guys. Hodge, Thanks, everybody. Brian. And we will see you in the next interview.